You are watching Sammy, the Interviewing Toucan, brought to you by the Indiana Young Reader Center. Do, 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 do. Hey, everybody. Hi there. I'm Sammy, and I'm here today with Maurice Broadus. How are you, Maurice? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing fine. Did I say your name right? You absolutely did. Yay, yay, that's great. Well, uh, as you know, we're doing a whole series of interviews with Indiana authors. So I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about yourself and your relationship with Indiana. Well, let's see. So I am mostly known as a science fiction and, and fantasy author, but uh, uh, you know, I've delved into writing some you know, young adult books and middle grade books, that sort of thing. Um, and my connection to Indiana, I was actually born in London, England. <gasps> That's so cool. <laughs> uh, when I was a kid, uh, we moved from London uh, to Indianapolis, and I've been in Indianapolis since uh, since I was about ten years old. So I've been here uh, most of my life, and uh, and I try to set as many of my stories in Indianapolis as possible. Can I ask you why you were in London and why you ended up in Indy? Is that too personal? No, 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 not at all. Uh, my mother it was born in Jamaica. And, uh, and she was going to school in England at the time, uh, because at the time, England, uh, Jamaica was a commonwealth of, of England. Oh, so that's right. It was easy. Um, and then my dad was in the Air Force, and they became pen pals. <sighs> and so, so uh, we lived in England for a while, uh, while she finished up school, and then uh, we moved back to the States where he's from. Wow, that's so interesting. That's just great. Let's talk a little bit more about your writing. I, I have one of your books right here. One of your, would, th would that be a middle grade book? Would you say The Usual Suspects? It absolutely. It's my first, uh, first middle grade book. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and then what are you working on right now? So I'm actually working on a, a few different projects, actually. Um, so one is a, a follow-up middle grade book. It's going to be called uh, Unfatable. Um, and then I'm also working on a, a science fiction trilogy that uh, takes place in outer space, and it's called uh, uh, All the Stars is the name of the series. The, book, the first book is called Sweep of Stars. That's so cool. So I just realized that I wasn't looking at you. I was looking over here at your book. So now I'm going to look over here. <laughs> That's, okay. That's okay. You know, all the technology. It's a great cover. I don't blame you for looking at it. <laughs> it is. It is. It's a good looking cover. Can you tell me a little bit about The Usual Suspects since I've got it sitting here? Sure, sure. Um, the Usual Suspects was uh, inspired by my time uh, first as a substitute teacher, and then uh, I eventually became a, a full-time uh, middle school teacher. Um, also inspired by, uh, we'll just say, some of the antics of uh, my sons while they were in school. Mm -hmm. And so uh, The Usual Suspects follows uh, uh, two young men, uh, Thelonious and Nehemiah, and they are in this class called uh, uh, the Special Education Classes, which is where they put all the students who are would you say a little bit of a handful to handle in this classroom? You know, my sister is actually a special education teacher, so I know what you're talking about. Okay, perfect. Um, and so I began my career uh, volunteering in that classroom. And, uh, and uh, that classroom, I, I came to love that class so much. Um, and so, uh, so the, the story, so they inspired the, the story and follows the, these two young men. Uh, so basically, whenever anything goes wrong in the school, uh, the administration just rounds up what they call the usual suspects, which is this whole class. Oh, gosh. Uh, yep. And so when something goes wrong in the school, they decide, hey, you know what? We're going to clear our name because we didn't <laughs> do this. And some uh, uh, detectives to figure out what really happened in the school. Oh, well, that sounds so fun. What a fun book. So talk to us a little bit about where are you right now in your author journey and where do you hope to be someday? Um, yeah, I was thinking about that. Uh, because, you know, I, I first started writing when I was like in second grade. Wow. Uh, so, so as soon as, as soon as I got to the States, you know, I, you know, I started writing immediately. And, uh, and I've been, I've had stories published for the last 20 years. Wow. Uh, and so I'm, uh, in some ways, I'm right where I've always dreamed about being, uh, you know, publishing books, working on really interesting projects. Um, but at the same time, you know, you, you, you I stay hungry, basically, is what I'm going to say. You know, I, I always want to go for that next step. What's the next goal for me? What's the next writing challenge for me? So um, writing this trilogy is, is going to be a challenge for me. Um, I have a couple of, I'm currently also writing a, a couple of plays for the IRT because I've never done that before. So I'm like, all right, well, let me try, let me, let me try my hand at that. So That's so interesting. Now, tell us a little bit more about your trilogy. I know you said it's set in space. Is it for grownups? 
Yes, it's for, it's for grown ups. It's a, one of my adult sci fi novels. Um, and so basically, uh, so I work a lot with with children, and uh, and so I came up writing, you know, hor uh, scary stories and and fantasy stories, and so. Um, I wanted to be able to write stuff that, you know, so some of the kids I work with, they were like, hey, can we read something of yours? And I'm like, let me, let me, uh, not. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Your parents would kill me. Uh, so you know, that's one of the reasons why I started writing the middle grade. But uh, with the uh, adult science fiction book, um, it's basically about a, a colony in outer space. Um, it's a, a, a black led colony uh, because it was one of those things where I've always dreamed of like, you know, Yes, yeah, I'm a big Star Trek fan and big Star Wars fan, but I'm just like, you know what? I don't see enough of me in outer space. So what would it look like to have a whole colony of, of just people who look like me out in charge in outer space? Um, and, and what sort of adventures would, you know, could that look like? And so that's what inspired this most recent uh, trilogy. Oh, I love that. And, you know, we need books like that. We need diverse books, uh, you know, all over the spectrum and definitely for African-Americans and just Black people in general. So I'm so excited that you're going to be writing that. That's fantastic. It sounds great. I'm, I am having a ball writing it. Good. So my last question, um, actually I have two. Uh, I'm asking all my authors how they're doing coping with the COVID-19 19, you know, uh, health crisis that we're all we're all living through right now. How's it going for you? Um, it's going it's, it's going pretty well. Um, because I, I, I my boys are now older now, so they one is a uh, you know almost out, I don't know if high school and the other one is a uh, freshman in college. Uh, but they're both living here. Um, my mom moved in with us. Aww. Um, so we have a, a pretty full house here, um, and so it's great to be able to be. I mean. You know, my, my hardship is I'm surrounded by all the people I love all over. Oh. So, not, so on that end, you know, it's great. We're keeping each other safe. Um, and then, uh, you know, when times get stressful, I tend to get through things by uh, doing more work. Um, and so basically, it, it's been a time of me just writing a whole lot more. So writing is my distraction. It's, it's my way of uh, dealing with stress. So, you know, uh, in between the two books, I'm also writing six short stories. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, you know, just, just uh, and, and six short stories and two two essays. Um, you know, just as a way to just keep my, uh, you know, keep my, my brain focused. And it's like, hey, you know, I have, I have all this stuff going on that you can't control. But you know what? I can't control my next story. So I love that's that. That's a great way to think about it. So the last thing we're going to do, um, I'm asking all of our authors to do a little bit of a show and tell. So is there something that you've got right now that you want to share with us? I do. I have oh, my, fun. My, my, my little Black Panther figure. Um, Black Panther is my favorite superhero. Uh, um, you, uh, you could probably hear, I'm hiding them right now, but I have a huge comic book collection. Oh, uh, nice. So, um, but Black Panther is my favorite superhero going all the way, oh, double feature, all the way back to his first appearance in the Fantastic Four. Oh my exactly gosh, that's amazing. Um, and so uh, it, it means a lot to me to be able to uh, work on, on different projects. In fact, uh, you know, just between you and me. <laughs> this isn't uh, going on the internet or anything. <laughs> right, exactly. So uh, I I'm, I'm may be working on a Black Panther short story also. So wonderful. Oh, gosh, Maurice, this has been so fun. It's been just a delight to talk to you and to talk to your book. <laughs> so thank you so much. And I'm sure I'll be seeing you around Indiana at some point once we get out of our houses. <laughs> Sounds great. I look forward to it. Okay, you take care. Bye-bye.